Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Hey, hey. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? How are you, people? How was your weekend? Uh, <laughs> my weekend very good, but this day it's a bad day for me. Why a bad day? Uh, I have my my back. It's killing me. Ooh, really? Um, and my head. And this moment, I have a uh, more or less uh, two two hours of uh -huh. with headache, but it's, um, a little. Uh -huh. But um, don't say good. Uh, 100%. I feel 100% good. <laughs> ah, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope yeah. you feel better. Yeah, because that, that those type of, you know, pains are like really, really stressing. Stress. That's really stressing to be that like that. Yes, I can stay with uh, in front of the computer or cell phone uh, for a long time because uh -huh. I have uh, my eyes uh, dwelling. Hard? Heard, heard that. Mm. I hope you get better. But have you, have you, have you taken medicine? Yeah, yeah, I take uh, ibuprofen at four, no, uh, three, three thirty. Uh -huh. so, so I take uh, ibuprofen mm -hmm. and suero. ¿Cómo se dice suero? Yeah, uh, oil juice or something. Yeah, I take that. Um, uh -huh. One cup of uh, tea, tea of. ¿Cómo se llama el té? Ah, manzanilla. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh -huh. that one. That that but that one is good. Uh -huh. Sí, es que I'm here. Okay, all right. That's a good thing man, that you're here. Right. You're really here. Okay, but what about the rest, people? What have you been doing during this weekend? Domingo, how was your weekend? Uh, I, I am good. Good? Good, uh-huh, cool. Uh, uh, I still uh, at my house. Ah, you spent time uh -huh. in your house, okay. Uh, it's a uh, uh, I activities the uh, cleaner. Ah. Uh, Row and room, uh, then your room, okay, or orden, como se ordenando, you clean, you did, basically, you did the cleaning to clean, uh. mm, okay, ah, uh -huh. the chores of the house, right? Like, like doing everything, right? Making the bed, organizing the, 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 the room, mm. uh, eh, eh. Is I see is I see in, uh, my my document uh -huh. check check uh, the 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 miss my 
mais deudas. Mr. Dead? Ah, ok. <risos> ok. Yeah, I mean, every, everybody do that, man. Everybody. <risos> Believe me. Everybody do it. É, estirando lá. <risos> estirando lá, cobija. Oh my God. E você, like, ah. Ey, pero si yo ya casi terminaba de pagar, what happened? Había <laughs> apenas. That you think, that you think you are about to finish the payment, but actually it's not. <laughs> Solo la alegro le dan a uno. Nah, pues son tan. But anyways. Ahí están, ahí lo están esperando uno con el aguinaldo. <laughs> ah, yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true. Y yo no, así como que, ah, creo cuando van a dar el aguinaldo, ya lo debe. God. Yeah, I mean that happens. That really happens, but yeah, that's part. Como dijo a mí esta vez, parte de nuestra vida. Parte de nuestra vida. Yeah, I mean, and we can we cannot do something else, right? All right. But anyways, all right, people. I hope the rest. Yeah, I hope the rest to be good. Ah, uh -huh. most of you are with the cameras off. Hmm. Weird. But anyways, we're gonna start with uh, with the attendance list because we got a lot of things to do tonight. Okay, related to the class. So let's see. We're gonna start. Alfredo Alexander. No, 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 no. No, but it's not here. Amilcar Cañengues. Okay, mira, Amilcar. Carlos Gualberto. Sure. Ah, ok, good. Uh, Domingo Alexander. Present. Good. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Good okay. evening. Good evening, man. Fátima Alejandra. Not here. Gilmar Cruz. Eh, Gilmar Cruz up late. Jonathan Alexander. Okay, no, Jorge Elvir. I'm here. Ah, ah I am <laughs> Matias. <laughs> I thought it was Jorge. <laughs> okay, I am in your next time. <laughs> okay, good. Ya iba a ser a Milcar, dice Matias. Okay. <laughs> Carla, Don't worry, Matías. Don't worry. Present teacher. Okay, good, Carla. Hey, where is your Christmas tree, Carla? Yes, teacher. You put it? Ah, yeah, I mean, it's in the back, right? Yeah, okay, good, good. <laughs> good. Mega, no. You, Mega, you no. teacher, you have I a mean, I, 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 don't, I don't have it yet. I haven't put it yet. Uh, I I need to buy the lights because you are the, because because <laughs> kind of kind of man kind of because the <laughs> the, the lights I had uh, at the you know like from the previous Christmas all, all of them are burnt. <laughs> they didn't turn on. Ah oh my god! I need to no buy. It. No. Or, let's see, Marco David. Present. Cool. Maritza Alcira. Good evening, present. Good evening, Maritza. Hey, Maritza, how do you Good feel evening. today? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Fine. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, cool. Fine. Excellent. Descanso quería, ¿verdad? <laughs> el fin de semana para reponer energía. No, casi me muero el viernes, teacher. Yeah, I mean, you were very... <laughs> you were very... La reacción sick. me mató. Sí, sí, pero lo bueno es que ah, ya, ya está con todas las pilas puestas. Pero ni cuando tengo. tuve el COVID me puse así. You are ready. Yeah, me that happens, that happens. Ah, suele pasar eso. Yes. Ok, good. Ah, let's see, Marlon Alberto. Where is everybody? Mauricio Alexander. Jesus, I, I just got like eight Solo people. Solo ocho, I teach. 
Yeah, me solo ocho tengo. Why, where is everybody? Debería de ver quiénes no están mejor. Yo creo que es el más fácil. Más fácil. <risa> Bien pobre se ve el grupo hoy. Ella es cierto donde están todos. Le, give, me, give me a second, guys. I need to send a, a message to the group. Where is everybody? Jesus Christ. Mejor, dicho. Se aprende más entre menos. <risa> <risa> Hay que ser claro. <risa> There you go. Okay, cool. I, I put the, the message there. Solo okay, hay ocho hijos de la mazorca. Yeah, man, it's like I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> bueno, ya hay nueve. <risa> que se cancele en clase, mentiras. Ah, que se cancele en clase. Ah, ¿cómo, Carla? No, hombre, vamos a llegar a diciembre así. A enero. <risa> ah, exactly. ¿Cuándo termina, Ah, uh, um, no, uh, With you on November the 30. Ok. Ya, yeah, with the Insight for Classes on November. Ya falta poquito. Ya, yeah, I mean, next week. Cabal. Yeah, I mean, next, uh, week. next no, teacher. Tuesday. Yeah, dos next semanas Tuesday. faltan. Semana y Ajá, media. Faltan dos semanas. Esta y la otra. No, no. pero no. Es la otra. Next week. That's why I'm telling you. Next week. Hoy es lunes. La otra semana. Martes de la otra semana. We finish. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Yes, yes, Marita. Today is November the 22nd. O sea que vamos a estar. El 31 de diciembre estudiando. Ah, no, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this module and the next module, module number six, we're gonna have uh -huh. it next year. Ah, de verdad. No, 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 no. En diciembre no fue ni Ya, man, because Insafor uh, goes on vacation. Mm -hmm. People from Insafor goes on vacation. 25, este. Yo pensé que en diciembre vamos a terminar el primer módulo. Ah, I was thinking the same, pero, pero el debido primer... a las fechas, no, 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 no salimos. No salimos, así que... Mm. Eso es, en eso enero es... vamos a entrar en ah, módulo kind of, número kind of. eso, es, eso es de cierto modo bueno, porque así, digamos que los, la, digamos que la, los, los eh, de recursos humanos de algunas empresas que, que tardan en enviar los documentos, pues los envían a tiempo, por así decirlo. Right? Mm -hmm. Because this is until next year, I mean, you mm -hmm. know. Así que, ajá, esperemos que todos... En parte todos, es, bon, es productivo y en parte no. Sí, porque yo pensaba que en enero íbamos a comenzar ya con el segundo módulo. Ah, ya, yeah, I me mean, I was thinking the same, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. sure. Ajá. El segundo, sí, ¿cuántos? ¿Cuántos Te módulos? Era, no, que al final de año naciste el módulo completo. <risa> <risa> Right. Pero es algo común eso. Okay. No, I mean, there are, there are enterprises. Good evening. That, 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 good evening, Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that they send everything late. Very late. Anyway, let's see. Romeo Alexis. I mean, yeah, Romeo's not here. Where is everybody? Exactly. Hey, no, but listen. Esto solía pasar nada más los viernes, pero ahora creo que los lunes lo tomaron. Este grupo I, it's, ha sido así, it's, it's because it's, on, it, it's Monday, right? Yeah, that's why. That's why. Uh, no, nah, aunque, pero... aunque Alfredo está en la rafra, ra, rafra, no es como se llama. Ah, yeah, la, 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 la zafra. Ya, yeah, mi La he, zafra, él está he's, trabajando he's ahorita. He's busy, he's busy, yeah. Very nice. Okay. okay, let's see. Rosa del Carmen. Él y Domingo son los únicos que están desde el primer módulo conmigo. Ah, good night. Good evening. Now, in here, in here with me, with me, like right now, the ones that are from module number one until module number five is Carla, uh, Rosa, and uh, Jonathan, and Fatima. Desde el primero. Module one. Well, with me. Y yeah, Stephanie. Man. I am in Stephanie. Solo que Stephanie ahorita la tengo de oyente. Yeah, I mean, por eso es que tienen bastante conocimiento y confianza con usted. 
Ya, yeah, men. No, 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 pero yo, yo, yo ya tengo tres profesores ya. Ya, yeah, men, por eso, mire, pero, mire, uh, mire, Fátima, antes se conectaba antes que mí, mire, ahora viene tarde, me va a alcanzar. <risa> mire, 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 levantándose de dormir bien. <risa> en blanco y negro se mira ahorita. <risa> ah, no, 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 pero ellos han estado en este módulo uno conmigo, eh, mm. ha habido otros, ahí. Yeah, some of them. Ah, no, Eric estuvo desde módulo 2, ¿verdad? ¿O 3? Sí, ¿Dos? Dos, también. ¿Dos? ¿Dos? Martin y Alberto, ¿no? Ah, ya, yeah, Mingilmar, esa no, ya, Mingilmar. Solo que Eric, por motivos de que, yeah, yeah, the papers, that's why he couldn't join the team again. But anyways. Ah, let's see, people. We will meet Next each other, continue. new people. Tenda. Yeah. Let's see. Rosa. Yeah, I mean, Rosa is here, right? Okay. Uh, Vanessa Odette. Present. Present, teacher. Okay, good. William Eduardo. Teacher, ya vino Fatima. No, here, right? Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, she was waking up. <laughs> <laughs> And she was like, uh, the class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Jasmine Melanie. Man, yeah, Jasmine. Jesus, where is everybody? Jennifer Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Natalie never showed up. Hey, Natalie, that was another one, but Natalie didn't connect to any class to this module. Stephanie Lissette, she's not here, and William Alberto. And that was another one from module one. But anyways, they are not uh, in here anymore. All right, people, we're gonna start with the things that we got from last class. Uh, I don't know if you understand, I mean, if you remember actually, if you remember, what was the main topic that we were discussing last Friday? That was a very interesting topic, by the way. You remember the topic that we were discussing? Anybody? To use present perfect. Uh, that was on Thursday. Uh -huh. How to use present perfect. But let's start with that one, Marisa. Okay. How to use present perfect, people? What is present perfect? To prefer the present perfect is when we say something about uh, say it. No. Or a star, a star in the past, in the past and continue in the present, future, uh, the future, maybe. I don't. All right. Constant. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. That's an activity that is started in the past, right? Continues to the present and has a possibility to continue to the future. Future. Okay, it's an action that basically has not finished, right? We know that it just started, but not finished, right? Okay, good. There you go. Uh, and what is the structure? Do you remember what is the auxiliary verb that we use with present perfect? Out. Um, subject plus auxiliary verb have has plus may bear in post participle. Plus, 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 plus complement. Okay, very good. There you go. Excellent. Está leyendo. Thank you, Milcar. Thank you, Milcar. Mira, ya vienen con pedrada acá. Se dejaron ir. No es un Monday thing, right? Nah, ya, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Ok, sí, Milcar, thank sí, you. Sí, <laughs> ok, let me see. Uh, I I will I will need a volunteer to give me an example for your own. Uh, Dale, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, Amilcar, give me a number from one to nineteen. From Nine, one uh, from one to nineteen. Okay, cool. I got all 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 the picture from you over there. Okay, and I'm gonna say. Number 10, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Carlos Alberto, you're number 10. Can you give me an example, Carlos, using present perfect in first person? Just make up one example, man. Uh, 
Carlos. Carlos juga ada mikrofon off. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Oke. <Okay. laughs> Jadi... Jenny Hasan, plug the cord. Uh, 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 I'll repeat again. Jenny Hasan, plug the cord. Plug the cord. Yes. Oh. Plug it, the cord. Ah, plug the, the cord. Plug the cord. No, okay, very good. There you go. That's negative, right? Okay, good. Okay, Carlos, choose one of your classmates because I want one example mm -hmm. interperson. Choose any classmate you want. Okay, uh, Domingo. <laughs> hey, Domingo, okay. <laughs> All right, Domingo, give me one example using present perfect, but interperson using whether he or she or a proper noun. Present. Yeah, uh, pre present perfect. The structure, the structure that, that we're that we're talking about. Uh, example. Mm -hmm. The structure of the present present. Uh, no, oh, one example. It? One example, Domingo. Ah, uh, I have gone to work. Okay, Domingo. Now let's do it in third person. Third person. Ah, uh, the third person. Yes. She has studied English this week. Ah, okay, very good. She has studied English this week. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very okay. nice. Okay, Domingo. Very good. All right. That was the structure from the past Thursday. But what about the topic that we were discussing last Friday? What was the topic? Do you remember the topic? Idioms. Idioms. Ah. And what is an idiom? It does any refranes or dichos. Ah, pretty similar, right? To, to, to the ones in Spanish, like when we say like dichos, right? Or refranes. Okay. But what is the definition that you can give to idioms in English? Break a leg. Ah, okay. Break a leg. What does break a leg mean, uh, Maritza? What is break a leg? I don't know, teacher. Break, romper. A leg, una pierna. Rompase una pierna. No. No that? Eso es. <risa> me, me dice no, me dice no que no se le quiere romper o no que no no es la definición. Uh, uh, no gracias. No es la ah, definición. Okay, okay, good, Marisa. Ah no, Marisa was sick. Now I remember, Marisa was mm. dying. It's too similar. It's too similar. Uh, good look. look. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, break a leg is basically a synonym of Good luck, all right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's like good luck, right? That's pretty cool. There you go. Do you remember what other uh, idioms were we practicing that day? Um, something that got on your, uh, sick your mind. As a dog. Sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. Okay, what is a sick as a dog for? Eh? Thank you, Milkar, by the way. Como tirado el perro. Tirado. Me ha ido mal. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, yeah, but, but when you're sick, right? When you're sick. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah okay. Mal. Very good. Very good. There you go. Uh, under the water, too. Under the water, too. Ah, yes. Okay, good. Uh, give me one example using that, Matias. What? What? Give me one example using that uh, idiom. Under the weather too. Mm, for example, and mm, the and the only one example, the idiom. Yes, only one example. Under the water too, le dije yo, teacher. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 
uh, what example in the in the last week and the como se dice olor de muela ah uh, tooth pain ah uh, tooth pain mm -hmm. tooth pain pain and, entonces sería I <coughs> no sé cómo definirlo tú okay. okay. uh, you were two, yo estuve you, igual you were you were like you were okay Matías yeah as Amilcar says for example if I tell you hey Amilcar look I feel sick man I have a horrible headache I cannot stand up from bed from bed and everything and you talk and you tell me ah okay I understand you I was under the weather too last week Ah, estuve así la, la, la semana pasada. So you see, that's, that's putting it on somebody else's situation, right? Putting oneself in, in somebody else's situation. All right. Hey, teacher. Good evening, Jasmine. Ah, teacher. Yeah, tell me, Jorge. Uh, today, one, one person in the office say me. Uh, oh, told me. One, told me, okay. Uh, one idioms. Ah. Uh, money doesn't. Grown on the trees, is, is correct? Yeah, I mean, like money doesn't grow on the, th on the on the trees. It's like when you say, "Hey, look, I I work hard to get my money. Money doesn't grow up on trees." Significa oh, okay. que el dinero no lo corto, no 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 lo agarro fácil, right? O no lo encuentro tirado, right? Like okay. like people says, right? You gotta okay. put an effort in it. Yeah, it, it, she she's say me this. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I mean, that, that's another one. Good. There is another okay. one. That is another one related to money that it says money talks. Oh, money talks. Okay. You know what is that? Money talks. Money talks. Con dinero, no. Money talks is like con dinero. You know the right. rest. Mono. You see? <laughs> Ahí está. You know the rest. What does it mean? That if you have money, you can do whatever you want. Right? Money talks. You know how. Money talks. Money talks. Eh, literally, Monkey literally, it's like como el dinero habla, right? But obviously, the money doesn't talk, right? But you can find out the logic there, right? Yes, man. Okay, that's, that's the one. And, and like this, tomorrow, as I, as I told you, tomorrow, I'm going to bring up a list with some definitions about the most frequent uh, idioms that we're going to be practicing. Because tomorrow, we will see idioms part two. Today, we have a very similar, but not that similar, similar topic, okay? Rel kind of related to idioms, but this one, it's called phrasal verbs. It's like kind of different. And you will see, because this is, this is a composition between verbs and prepositions. The topic that we're gonna have for tonight is just a little bit different, just a little bit. So give me a second. I want to project the presentation so we can start with this. Teacher, ¿qué pasó con la lista que nos va a mandar de los what you're Lo talking about uh, no uh tomorrow tomorrow because tomorrow we will have class number two with that idioms part two that's what i said in the class okay porque si se las envía es como que ah si sí, la vamos a ver pero acá es donde vamos a ponerlas en práctica right here is is where we are going to be practicing that Ah, por cierto, uh, uh, who was it? I think Ever was the one who sent the list of verbs that I told you last last time that I will send, right? The one the one that got the pronunciation uh, right next to the verb. So in that case, you can practice. Okay, this is the topic that we're gonna have. Look at this. Video conference for team people. So basically, tomorrow we will finish week number three. By tomorrow, people, you have 
I need you to have already finished the homework 15, okay? It was supposed to be today, but since if you remember, we uh, skipped one class, skipped one class, that's why we're gonna move one day ahead. So today's topic is going to be, listen, how to use phrasal verbs. Have you ever heard this word before, people? Phrasal verbs? ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado esta frase? Addition. No. no. But this, but this is, is very common. Mm. Okay. The first. Nice. That's pretty cool. It means that we're going to be doing from the start. Okay. Let's start with the class agenda. This is something that we have already done, like, you know, like the review from the previous class. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got how to use phrasal verbs. All right, after that, we're gonna have a short conversation in the manual. And after that, we're gonna have some Sorry. exercises. Uh-huh. And uh, you know, like the practice at the end. So that's pretty much what we have. Idioms. Okay. That was far, right? Okay. With idioms, what were we say? What were we saying about idioms? Bien. Uh, we got this one from the previous class. Now, people, ¿cuál era la definición de un idiom para ustedes en inglés? I remember uh, we read the groups the word mm -hmm. to order a specific and the, the meeting is very different for anyone's, anyone's word. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I know. okay, very good. There you go. There you go. Okay, so let's let's keep that on mind. Okay, now let's start with the phrasal verb. Okay. Okay, check this out. This is the one. Let's put in here the topic on a row. Here, phrasal verb. What is a phrasal verb? Then listen up. Uh, it says, a phrasal verb, listen, are words joined. Son palabras unidas. What does it mean? They consist on a list, listen up, on a verb, basically on a verb in a particle, okay, a particle or a small word like a preposition. In this case, when we talk about phrasal verbs, we talk about a verb and a preposition together, okay? And when they join, listen up, when they join into one single word, they have a different meaning, a different definition, okay? From what a normal verb is. That's what it says, give me a second. From what it says, okay? Take this out, look. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. That's what I was saying, okay? That when we generally put a verb and a preposition together, we basically change the meaning of the verb, okay? And that's why we call them phrasal verbs. But let's see, let's see a couple of examples so you can understand better. Check this out. Look, take after. Take is the verb. Okay? Take is the verb. After, if you remember, what is after? Después. Después de, right? And take. Tomar. Tomar, tomar. right? O agarrar. Ah, okay. Pero si yo pongo el ejemplo, look, he takes after his father. He takes after his father. Ah, what does it mean? He looks like his father or he behaves like his father. That's the real meaning of take after. Okay, look. Take after, básicamente en una oración, ¿cuál es el significado uh, principal que tiene? Ya no es de tomar. Tomar algo después de o tomar después de. No. Okay. Take after significa 
parecerse a. Mm. Parecerse a. Por eso el ejemplo dice, he takes after his father. Ah, él se parece a su papá. Mm. Ok. He takes after his father. Por eso este paréntesis y dice, he looks like his father. Ah, se ve como su padre. O oh, se comporta como su padre. So you see. Entonces, what does it mean in this case? Entonces, el after, la preposición, hace que el verbo tenga otro tipo de significado. ¿okay? Entonces, como decíamos, take significa tomar, after significa después. Pero ya unido significa parecerse a. That is the real meaning of it. ¿okay? Parecerse a o comportarse como. ¿okay? Like following another person's step. Now, are we understanding this? Ahora bien, yeah. vamos, vamos teniendo claros, recordemos. Ajá, Milcar. Es parecerse o... Exactly, o comportarse como. Y en algún momento, eh, este verbo take puede degenerarse en, en una idea como la que está diciendo, sin la preposición. No. Nope. No. Porque, por ejemplo, no, because if you put aquella, down... canción de, uh -huh. aquella canción de, de Scorpion habla de llevar, llévame <laughs> a la gloria, algo así dice. Ah, para eso. Ajá, pero ya está. O sea, <laughs> <laughs> no, pero es que acuérdense que la preposición no, pero es que acuérdense que take, take es, va, por ejemplo, listen, listen. I take, I take my wife to work. Ah, yo okay. llevo a mi esposa a trabajar. Es tomar, ok. I grab her and I take her to work. Entonces eso es de llevar, ok. Take es tomar algo, un o objeto, llevar. o llevar, ok. Mm -hmm. Like when you take a person to a, a different place. Por eso es que... Pero ese, ese take ese es diferente de tomar de beber, ¿verdad? Es diferente. Yes, yes, that's, 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 that's drink. Yeah, man, that, that's drink. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Ya es muy diferente. Ok. Ya, yeah, man, aunque hay ciertas cosas. Por ejemplo, you take medicine. You take a pill. You take an aspirin. You can say that. Right? Toma la carretera. Uh -huh. Pero aquí no es el take, sino que el aster que hace... Exactly. La ese, diferencia. Ese es el la plan. diferencia. After, si te fijas, cambian las, siempre está after y cambian los, los verbos, por decir. Exacto, exacto. Entonces el, el, el significado ya es completamente diferente. Okay. Very good. So let's continue with, the, with other examples. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. He looks like his father. Ajá, uh -huh. it's, it's likely similar to that. He looks like his father. Okay. okay. Like he takes after like, his father. Ajá, like. Es, tanto. Sí, Ajá. solo tenía una, una duda con respecto. Vaya, y la oración está en, en simple present, ¿verdad? Por eso yeah. le agrega la S al, al... ¿Y qué pasaría si la pasamos esa oración en el pasado? Simple, simple y sencillo. Solo el, gran... el verbo se cambia a pasado en la sit. Uh, no ocupamos el did. No, no, ahí no ocupamos el did porque el did solo se pregunta. ocupa cuando es en negativo o pregunta. That's it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. ok. Entonces, en negativo sería, o en, en pasado. pasado sería, he, he took after took. his father. Remember ah, that the past parecía. form of take is took. took. Se parecía a su padre. Exactly. He took after his father. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we do. Very good. Now, we got another one. Look. Call off. Call plus off. Call. You know, you know what it's called, right? What ah, it's teacher, called? Teacher, mi pregunta era. Yeah, Matias. He, he looks like. Looks like. ¿Qué significa teacher ahí entonces? Looks like es parecerse a. Es lo mismo. Yes, es lo mismo. Viene siendo como de tal palo tal astilla. En algún punto. Ah, no. de cierto modo. Ah, de cierto sea. modo, aunque, aunque en inglés tenemos ese idiom. Ah, ok. As son uh -huh. as his father. Mañana vamos uh -huh. a ver, de hecho, ese. 
Ya, pero ya ese ahí sí ya sería un idiom. <laughs> look, ahora his face is like, what? No, look, look. ¿Cómo de, me ha confundido ¿Qué? más de lo que este no. mundo me ha confundido. Listen, Juan. Listen, 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 sí, listen. Sí, listen. Really. No, hay, no, hay, no hay en realidad manera de por qué confundirse. Y les voy a explicar por qué. Un idiom generalmente compon, se compone de verbo, pero o nombres y preposiciones. ¿Ok? Es un grupo de palabras. En cambio, un phrasal verb es simplemente un verbo y una preposición y eso es todo. That's it. That's it. Eso es lo único que van a ver. Un verbo, hey, yeah. one preposition. And that's it. And obviously, right? In context. Okay? In a sentence. That is how mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. identify them. Right? That's the way. Like, for example. One, one question. Uh -huh. In this topic, in this idioms, uh -huh. in, in what time I am used this in my office. You can Maybe. use them every time. Every time. Really? Yes, depending on the context that you're talking, you can use them. And maybe in, not in top the one group of people and joking, maybe, but another use. No le veo. It depends, as you said, like it depends on what kind of conversation you might have. That's the way how you can use it. Okay. Yeah. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. I will give you. I will give you tomorrow. I will give you some some of them that you can use in the office, and you will see, or you will change your mind in that case, right? But uh, like I don't want to give more idiom today because the topic is phrasal verb. Y si les doy unos y uno y los, los demás y se me van a confundir y después qué va a quedar como dice Jorge, right? <risa> está más confundido que como cuando andaba con dos novias dice. me han salido más canas de lo normal anda más confundido Hello? of idioms again because you say that you give us other examples yeah. in the Last yeah, the, the, the thing is that on Friday we have part one. If you remember, tomorrow yeah, is part, part two. Part tomorrow two. is part two. Thursday. Uh -huh. uh -huh. According yes. to the program I got with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, man, it was that today. It has to be tomorrow. Sorry, Jorge. Today is just phrase out one. Sorry, Jorge. <laughs> and this day I disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, why, why, why will you disappear? In this case, hello. Okay, I mean, I, I was about to explain that, man, because you were asking. Listen, listen, call. What is call? Call. Ah, okay. In simple past, right? Okay. Call of Duty. Okay, call. All right, that is that is like when you got the cell phone right and you make a call. Of is like a preposition. Okay, but call plus of. What do you think it is? It says Mary call off the meeting. It I means listen, listen, listen. Mary canceled the meeting using the Oops. phone. Ah. For example, let's suppose you, Matias, has. I have a meeting Constantly. with Elmar, with Amilcar, with Domingo, Fatima, all in this group. We have a meeting, okay? We have a meeting in a specific place, in a specific time. But in my case, I have a problem, okay? Mm -hmm. A problem shows up. And I say, and I call everybody and I tell you, hey, look, uh, let's call off the meeting because I have a problem. So call off means to cancel a meeting, okay, or a date. That's what it means, call off, cancel. Canceló la, la reunión. Exactly, using a phone call. Pero la canceló por teléfono. Exactly, that's why it's called call off, right? Por eso lleva el verbo call. Es cancelar un evento o una cita o algo a través del teléfono. That's what it means, right? That is mm -hmm. call off. 
call of. Yeah. Y si of. hubiese dicho, y si llevara worth it, worth it of the men. Worth, worth it. Have a question. No, and I mean that would be another with another connotation, Domingo. Aha, uh Matias. -huh, uh, in, in this case, is solo used in the call or presencial también. No, o sea, en, este, en, 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 en este, en este, cuando, cuando se dice call off, eso uh -huh. es exclusivamente para cuando uno y solo para por llamadas por teléfono. Yes. ¿Cómo sería cancelarla así normal, teacher? To cancel. Cancel. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey people, let's see you tomorrow. Let's cancel the meeting. I have something to do. That's Only it. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Me entrampaste, Matías. <laughs> <laughs> Me entrampaste. No, but, but that, that, that's it. That's it. Ah, because call off is mostly used when using the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like okay. La way. otra anterior, no, verdad? Uh, which one? The, the, the. Take after? Ah, no, no, no. no. Hey, that, that one is in every aspect. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's see. It says, give me one second. Let me see it up. Some phrasal verbs. Let's put some of them in here. Check this out. Tighten up. These ones are related to work. You see? Tighten up. Have you ever heard that one? Where is Titan up? Titan. Okay. Let's put an example. That's why I brought an example in there, right? It says, um, by the way, Marco, let's read it. The first. Uh huh. The Titan up. Yes. We need to take in, tighten up the security. Como subir. Okay, tighten up in this case is like reforzar, okay, or endurecer uh, in this case, all right, something. If you're talking about security, it's como reforzar la seguridad, okay? When you talk about security, right? Tighten is aumentar. Exactly. Ah, es como right. reforzar, aumentar, endurecer. Aumentar, When you talk subir. about security, about those things, okay? Pero yeah. cuando ya hablamos de socar un tornillo, entonces es como yes. apretar, right? Take apretar. Okay. Take up tornillo. <laughs> A screw, man. A screw. 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 Así es el tornillo. Screw. Yeah. 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 Screw. 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 Okay, that's what it means. No sabía. Okay. Okay. We live under screws every day. <laughs> yeah, man. Exactly. And holes, screw, trapeze, trail pensions. <laughs> That's right. Me, me too. Needle, needle Ever. Bar. <laughs> Ever, let's read number two, please. Help me out. Okay. Switch off is whenever I leave the house. I always switch off the light. Yeah, very good. So what is switch off? Apagar. 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 There you go. That's another way to say turn off. Turn off. Right? Mm -hmm. turn yeah. Off. Off. yeah, I mean, that's Jeez. switch off. ¿Y por qué switch? Mm -hmm. Switch significa cambiar, okay? Cambiar. Okay, o girar, right? Entonces, um, generalmente, cuando apagamos la, la, la luz, el switch, ¿qué hace? You see? Like, cambiar. Hasta hasta abajo, right? It changes. It changes. That's change. why. That's why it is related to the first switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Whenever. What is whenever, teacher? Cada vez que. Whenever. It's, it's a word compuesta, ¿cómo se dice? A compound word. Exactly. 
Yes. Never. Cada vez que. Cada vez que. Yeah, I mean. Igual que forever. Forever. No, but forever is a phrase out, bro. <laughs> forever. Oh. It's tough. Whatever, it's that might tough. be another one. Whatever. Para siempre. Yeah, I mean, forever is like para siempre, right? Yeah, for example, whenever a Mirka speaks, everybody is happy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, that's another one, right? That's using whenever. Okay, so let's remember, switch off. <coughs> it's like similar to turn off. Carla, help me out with this. Por favor. I call it up the teacher to ask for permission. Uh -huh, okay, very good. So what is called up? Call up. Call up is used to make a telephone call. That's it. It's another way to say call, all right? Avisar. Okay, o llamar para pedir algún tipo de ayuda or something like that, okay? Call for something. No, no lo entendí. It's just, for example, Matias. Let's suppose you have a computer, okay? Yes. You have a computer and you have a problem with the computer. But you know that Hilmar is good with computers. And you say, yes. hey, I'm, I, I will call up Hilmar to help me out to fix my computer. Mm. So, llamaré a Hilmar para pedirle ayuda y pueda solucionar el problema de la computadora. Sí, en sí, call up es pedir es llamar, ayuda por teléfono. Es llamar, exacto, es llamar por alguna razón a alguien. Right? Es igual que call. Exacto, es like call. Tiene otro tipo de. Are you killing mosquitoes, amigo? <laughs> okay. Es <de> mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Man, reggae baigón por ahí. <laughs> No, I'll not, I'll not start no, last. I mean, no, man, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. No, I mean, another way to 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 to, <laughs> to mention the call up. <laughs> call up también significa visitar, right? Call up, visit. Entonces podría usarse la misma idea, techo. Yeah, man. For example, I call up my mother once a week. Ah, yo visito a mi mamá. Una vez a la semana. ¿Sí? Igual ese, yo, yo visito al profesor. Exactly. Que es ask, teacher. And the, 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 yeah. To ask for ask. permission. No, ask tiene dos. Preguntar y pedir. Es... Preguntar y pedir. Mm. Para pedir permiso. To ask for permission. Para pedir permiso. Mm -hmm. Picture. Yes. O sea que eso como esas frases son como acciones, sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que como entre ellas, eh, no como comandos, pero por ejemplo, sit down, eh, sit significa sentarse, ¿verdad? O, uh -huh. Es como wake up. Básicamente, como, básicamente como, sit down. Sí, eh, eh, exactly. Básicamente, como eh, sit bueno. down es considerado también una phrase over porque lleva el verbo sit y la preposición down. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. That's what it is. Así como go on también. Go on, exactly. Wake so up. up. Ajá, wake up. That's wake another up. one. Ok, ok, teacher. Pero si esta idea es así. Significa que existen otras formas de decir eso. Yes, de, por ejemplo, eh, se, sentados o siéntese. Aparte de sit down, ¿qué otra forma sería? Listen, 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 listen. Supongamos que usted me va a visitar la oficina y yo le digo, take a seat. Ah, tome asiento. Tome asiento. That's, that's a very formal way, ¿ok? Very mm -hmm. formal. Eh, but if you say, hey, Amilcar, sit down. Ah, siéntese. You see? That one, I am, in that case, I am using a phrasal verb, but it's less formal. That is the difference. Okay. Less formal, right? No es lo es mismo decirle, no es lo mismo decirle, siéntese, a decirle, ah, tome asiento. You see? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Ajá. 
Reply again this this parash parashar verb please. Call up the meeting is cancel. similar to visit. No, call no, up. no, cancel. Ah, no, call up. Yeah, I mean that one is is call like like up. similar to visit. It, it is. Uh -huh. it, it got two meanings. Two meanings. Remember, to call to make a telephone call to somebody. Okay, or uh, visit, or visit this? that person, or visit or that person, whatever. Exactly, exactly. It depends. It depends on the context that you will use. That will be the translation. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the context. Is your uh, what is similar root into committee? Run into. Uh huh. No, I mean, because running to is like it's like pretty different. Uh, run, running to significa encontrarse, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero eso es encontrarse por accidente, va por así decirlo, que usted va caminando uh, por un parque y se encuentra a mil cada Hey, what's up, man? Bla, 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 bla. That's running to. Encontrarse por casualidad con alguien. Uh, okay. okay, that's run into. Y si uh, ve, yeah. run, ¿qué significa run? Correr, into, uh -huh. dentro, ok. Pero run into es como cuando encontramos a alguien por la calle de casualidad. Exacto, encontrarse a alguien de casualidad. Ok, ok. Por ejemplo, I'm going I'm to I'm put in here a, uh, an example. Look, using that one. I run into my students. When I go to San Salvador, you see? Impossible. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really impossible. But this is yeah. just an example. You see, I run into my students when I go to San Salvador. Ah. Me veo de casualidad, me encuentro por casualidad mis estudiantes cuando voy a San Salvador. You see? Entonces, run into es encontrarse de casualidad, por casualidad. Run into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's remember, I mean, the run is the correr into the entrar. No tiene nada que ver, right, con el con el tipo de significado que tiene, right? <coughs> Or con the case. I I ese I run into my students. Ese es presente presente. Simple present, man. Simple simple present, verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Y así se ocupan, se utilizan casi siempre. Yes, most of the time. Mm. Yes. Ok. The, look. the feature. ¿Ah? And the feature. Easy, man. Feature. The structure, the structure. For example. I will uh, run into. I will run into my students when I go to San Salvador. Y si lo quiere hacer condicionado, mire. I run into my student, my student if I go to San Salvador. Uh -huh. Me encontraré con mis estudiantes si voy a San Salvador. Ahí es condicional. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces ahí con lo que tenemos que jugar es con los, con los, um, las estructuras como ya sea el will, el be going to, si es futuro. Bueno. No, no nos han enseñado el will todavía. Ah, but, but it's easy. That one is very easy. Yes, yes. Probably in the future we will we will be discussing that. Okay. In the future. Okay, listen, listen. Uh, ah, otra, otra cosa. Ese run into también tiene otro significado. Okay. Eh, es, for example, for example. Supongamos, Matías, usted va con todo en su carro, saliendo okay. de un parqueo. Y de repente está el carro de Jorge ahí, está le pasa dando su besito ahí al carro de Jorge. Ok, tener un pequeño accidente. Excuse me, man. Y boom. <ríe> exactly. Y run. Run into también es, eh, es pegarle a alguien, ok, especialmente en el carro. Inquisito. Ok. Ya, yeah, pero that's an, like an small accident, right? Algo pequeño. Uh -huh. yeah. Como pequeño choque. Ajá. Rosar, exactly. rosar, Como rosar un carro. golpear algo. Ajá, exacto. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Running. Yeah, okay. that is running too. 
Y ese de switch off, puedo también decir switch on. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean to turn on the light, yeah. Para encender la luz, yes. claro que sí. Switch on, switch off. Or when you arrive to the work, when you switch off, no, switch on your machine or? No, that's different. You turn on the machine, not turn switch on, off the right. machine. Turn uh, on. The switch on the light. Yeah, that is different. Yeah. Uh -huh, because the switch moves. The switch. Yeah. Right. That's the action. Yeah. Depending on the action. That's the word that you use. Okay. Okay. okay very good. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, off lo puedo agregar con otro verbo. Right. Como work, work, work off. Yes. Yes. You, you can use it. Lo único que va a tener otro tipo de significado. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y sí, ya va a tener otro tipo de significado. Ya no es el significado. Eh, es, no es el mismo. Okay. That is the difference. Okay, let's continue. The ah, least okay. teacher. That this is another one. Look, look. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I'm just gonna explain this one, and then I'm gonna pass the appendices. Turn off, right? Everybody, everybody knows what is this phrasal verb about. Turn off. You cannot listen. You can turn off the television. You can turn off your, uh, what? Your cell phone. You can turn off the lights. You see, you can use turn off. Es, es mandatory, app. teacher. Huh? Es, es, es mandatory. Ah, uh, yeah. In this case, yeah. It's, it's the most common one. It's the most common one. Es el más usado para decir, a, para, para mencionar que, que vamos a pagar algo. Right? Diciéndole a una segunda persona, turn off your TV. Yeah, I mean, you can use them in every aspect. For example, I have to turn yeah. to turn on the computer to, 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 to yeah. have the class, for example. Uh, uh, for example, uh, Domingo, turn off your computer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's imperative too. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you can use it as an imperative because it's a it's verb. Tough. Recordemos que todo verbo lo podemos usar como imperativo. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean, shit. Uno, uno, For example, yeah. with computers, with computers, eh, hablando de computadoras, hay uno que se, eh, que, bueno, si más de alguno tiene la computadora en inglés, le va a aparecer esto. Shut down. Shut down. ¿Saben qué significa shut? No. Ok, shut significa cerrar. ¿Han escuchado la expresión shut up? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Saca la boca. Saca la boca. Cierra, cierra la boca. Look, Eso, eso, eso es así, miren. Shut up. 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 Así shut se up. escribe, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. up. Ajá. Así se escribe. Pero, ¿Y el significado sí, es? Ese es... Que se calle. Ajá. Okay. Like a song. Like a song. In, the last, in the last class, I remember... Listen. Ajá. I remember listening... Shop extend the company. Ajá. Ok. Ah, ya, yeah, but yeah, it has another connotation. Look, depending on the, on the context, you will use it. But in this case... Esta frase, así como la tenía, like shut up, listen, listen, significa cállese, así, así, shut down. de una manera ofensiva. Aunque usted mm -hmm. diga esta expresión lo más dulce posible, listen, si yo le digo, hey Fátima, shut up, please, Fátima, cállese, por favor, you see, entonces, como yo lo quiera decir, Siempre va a ser una frase ofensiva. Ok. okay. That's offensive. Right. Para eso, en español. Para en eso, español. Exactly. That's why we have other expressions like be quiet. Ok. Keep silent. You see? Que no son para nada. Entonces, yeah. 
No, 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 generalmente no lo usamos. Vaya, pero lo que en estamos usando es. Español, en español, sí. Con... ¿Ah? No, en, el, en español es. Pero sí, con. Sí, con... <risa> Likely similar, ¿eh? Likely similar. Eh, ¿Cuál sería la forma formal, teacher? This type of, this type of example, this type of uh, uh, phrasal verb, la única que <coughs> en aspecto donde las podemos usar es con nuestros amigos. Así. Teacher. ¿Y la forma formal? Teacher. ¿Ah? Be quiet. ¿La forma formal? Be quiet. Ah, claro. Keep silent. Oh. Be quiet. Yeah, yeah th this is the, the question. Ajá. Uh -huh. And uh, shut up and be quiet. The be quiet is the, the more be polite to say. Exactly. <laughs> polite and formal. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Or keep silent. That's another one. Ok, shut down. Llevo a traerme unas pastillitas. Vaya, ahorita le llevo. <risa> ¿Azul? No es la de dormir, mamá. <risa> <risa> azul quiere. Ay, ok. Hey. <risa> El que es eso de azul. ¿Qué es eso de pastillitas? ¡Caramba, everybody! <risa> Ey, os, ey, ¿A poco soy bien inocente y quieren decir ah, otra cosa? Ah, <risa> ey, no, no sean. Hacemos un idioma para esto. <risa> <risa> ok, ok, pero no as, pero no as. Ok, now listen. Uh, just just, just to, to pass the attendance list. Shut down is another way to say, is basically similar to say, turn off. Mm. Okay, for example, uh, after the class, when the class finished, I shut down the computer. Apagar. Es lo mismo. Exactly. Es como cuando apagamos un, un dispositivo electrónico, right? That's shut down. Shut Especialmente down. una computadora. Shut down. Apagar. Shut down. Okay. So that's another way. Entonces tenemos otro sinónimo de eh, eh, con el... el, el el phrase over turn off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good people. Le, le, okay. Let me give me, just give me a couple of seconds. I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we can continue with this. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Let me see. Alfredo Alexander. I am in his as a listener, right? Let's see. Okay. Ah, uh, Milcar Cañengues. Present. Uh, Carlos Gualberto. Present, teacher. Okay. Domingo Alexander. Present. Nice. Ever de Jesús. Present, teacher. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. No, here. Present teacher. I am in <laughs> Late, but she's there. <laughs> Hilmar Cruz. Present. Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Very nice. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay, very good. Jose Matias. I'm here. Very nice. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay, Marco David. Right. Okay, Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Very nice. Alberto Cardona. Person in the chat. Ah, is in the chat? Yes. Sí. I am. Okay. Mauricio Alexander. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Right. Uh, Vanessa Odette. Present. Ok, very good. Let's see, William Eduardo. Present. Very good. Uh, Jasmine <coughs> Melanie. Present. Okay, very nice. 
Jennifer Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Natalie Vanessa, nah, she's no longer here. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, William Alberto. Which is not here. No, okay, let's continue. Where, where is the present? Ah, yeah. Okay, so we, we're studying here, right? Let's continue. Turn on uh, is the opposite, right? Yes. That is the opposite. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read the example, Fatima. Turn on. You have to turn on the computer for the class. Okay, very good. That is the opposite, right? Encender. Oh, this is another one. Listen up. CSAP. Agregar. Huh? Agregar. Why? CSAP. Why do you think why do you think it's agregar? Man? Yes. No. Feeling. Do. Do. Okay, let's read. Let's read and find out the context. Kind of, kind of. Hilmar, help me out reading the example, please. All the machine, all the ways it will say. Say Say out. Sysap. 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 Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. that's, Richard, the, that's what me. Yes? Me salió un ratito. Tengo un par de detallitos aquí en mi trabajo. Okay, okay. It's okay. Gracias. Very good. Listen up. Oil the machine. Otherwise, it will say sap. Okay, listen. See sap in that case is like, for example, Jonathan. I'm going to put an example, Jonathan. Jonathan, what happened? What happened if you don't put oil to the motorcycle? Se ruina. Se entrampa. Se o sea, trampa? Sí, algo así. That's the word, Jonathan. Se pega. Se no pega. Que... Se pega. Estoy señor. seguro lo que significa size up. No, Jonathan, no, Jonathan. Es un ejemplo aplicado a su trabajo, Jonathan. Si usted no le pone aceite al, al moto, a la moto, ¿qué sucede? What happened? Se funde. Se funde. Ok, hijo, se entrampa. Como dijo Marco, se cae. Ajá, sí, mira, esa no es igual. Sí, 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 la medida va. Sí, sab, sí, sab, básicamente sí, sí. es, listen, sí, sab, básicamente es la reacción que causa si usted no pone aceite a ese aparato. What it will be? ¿Cómo se dice? A ver. Too broken. Eh, kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh -huh. Funde. <laughs> Se funde. It might be because it's stop working. They had a Kind of, no, kind no, of, kind of. Quemar es otra cosa. Oh, no, okay, listen, listen. Causa una, re, una reacción y a esa reacción se le llama agarrotarse. That's what it means. Que es la que le da... eso. Listen. What? ¿Qué significa que eso? Che, che, pipito. No, 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 eso es engarrotarse y es otra cosa. No, 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 no. Sí le escuché. No, 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 no. Agarrotarse. What does it mean? Listen, listen. When a machine stop working, básicamente como dice Marco, se pega. Se pega. Exactly, right? Deja de funcionar. That's what it means, right? When something, listen up. When you see up something, is basically when you lubricate something, like a machine, right? Like a machine. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, otherwise, what is teacher? Uh, otherwise, it's como uh, de lo contrario. Otherwise means de lo contrario. Okay, so that's the <clears throat> same. Okay, como de a like entramparse, right? 
algo no va a funcionar bien. Esto es, esto es básicamente aplicado a maquinaria más que todo, or, or devices, ok, or devices. For example, what happened a chain? What happened to the chain if the chain doesn't have grease? ¿Qué sucede a una cadena cuando no tiene grasa? All right? Se oxida. Exacto. Eh? So, entonces, básicamente, esto es aplicable. Eh, este phrasal. Phrasal. Yeah. Que está acá. Ajá. That's another one. Hasta how do you car. pronounce size up? No, no size up. Sisap. Sí, 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 Call back means to return a call. For example, let's suppose uh, I call Carla, okay? I call Carla, but Carla is busy and Carla cannot answer the phone. So, okay, I put the phone and Carla, see, and Carla sees that I call her, right? So she calls me back. Volver a llamar o regresar la okay. Exactly, regresar la llamada, okay? That's call back. All right. No corresponder la llamada, ¿verdad? ¿no? Eh, no, porque corresponder es básicamente usted está diciendo contestar. Que está, contestó la llamada, contesta la llamada. No, ahí callback es cuando usted no alcanza a, a contestar, a, de, ve la llamada perdida y vuelve a llamar a la persona. Llama a la persona de regreso. Right? That's Hasta significado. That is callback. To return a call. Yes. A call. To return a call, right? Devolver la llamada. Another one. Mauricio, help me out reading. Um, break up uh, to the end relationship. To end the relationship. Okay, very good. Let's suppose Rosa has a boyfriend. Okay. Rosa, do you have a boyfriend? No, me quiere conseguir uno. Prometido tiene ya. Okay, good, very good. <laughs> Now listen, listen. Let's suppose Rosa has a boyfriend, okay? But they have problems. But they have problems. And then Rosa tells him, okay, you know what? I don't want to continue with you. So let's break up. You say that, uh, break up. You say that guys rompimos. Rompimos. Rompido, man. No, dice, aquí rompimos la relación, algo así. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Break up, break up is to finish the relationship, ¿ok? That's what it means, right? O cuando tenemos un amigo, ¿verdad? Que solo nos pide favores y es como que, nah. You know what? Let's break up this relationship. Algo, algo serio, la razón. Yeah. <laughs> solo esa definición tiene break up. Teacher. No, también significa romper, romper algo, Teacher. cosas. Cuando dice, we broken. Ah, no, pero es que si usted dice, we are broke, dice, no broken, we ah. are broke, significa que no tiene dinero, estamos quebrados, right? With no ah, money. Right. With uh -huh. no money. It means that you don't have money, right? Como cuando ya debemos hasta el aguinaldo, right? <laughs> we are broke. <laughs> Broke. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, we're broke. Para decir terminamos es break up. O... Yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. Especialmente cuando es una relación, right? Like boyfriend and girlfriend or relationship as a friendship. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. To end up a relationship. Good. Let's continue. The, the break up in relation. Exactly. Relation. Uh -huh. Relationship. Exactly. Stephanie, let's read this one, please. Uh, cut in, cut, 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 cut in, cut, cut in, uh -huh. interrupt a conversation. Very good, very good. Let's suppose uh, Amilcar and, and what? And Domingo are talking, right? Are in a conversation. And then uh, who? Let's see. 
mi Matías. Always. Llamen en Matías. Oh, es en clásico. Matías, <laughs> en Matías. <laughs> en Matías. Are, is included in the conversation. You know, like, like included with no permission. That is cut in. Cut in the conversation. Always. Es interrumpir una conversación de alguien más, right? That's cut yes. in. Cut in. Cut in. Cut in. Cut in. Mm -hmm. cut in. Cut in. All right, that is cut in. Cut in. Excuse me, the pronunciation? Cut, cut. in, cut. cut. Eh, es, cut este, in. Verbo, este verbo tiene el mismo significado, eh, digo, el mismo, el mismo tipo de pronunciación como cuando pronunciamos la palabra cat. De gato. In. De cut. animals. Cut right? in. That is cut, cut in. in. Cut in. Cut in. in. Cutting. No, no cutting, all right? Porque eso es otra cosa, cutting. <laughs> all right? But that's <laughs> cut in. Okay. Uh, if we want, listen, if we want to go deeper with this phrasal verb, también podemos aplicar este phrasal verb cuando vamos por la carretera y viene una persona abusiva en otro auto y se nos cruza. Okay? Nos, nos, básicamente nos, nos sobrepasa y nos se pone adelante. Right? Es como sobre, sobre, hijo de <risa> Es como sobrepasar de manera ¿qué? abusiva. Temeraria. Abusiva, por así Abusiva, sí, abusiva. That's in the line. abusiva. Cuando decimos y cuando, cut in the line. Y cuando le está haciendo formas, formando línea y se mete alguien en la cola. Ahí es, es cut in. That is cut in. Exactly, that is cut in. Okay. Cut in the line. Very good. Let's continue. Let's Come from Romeo. Now what? This is the easiest one. Este es el más fácil. Let's read, Romeo. Teacher, My to teacher. have, to. Ah, yeah, I mean, I, I got, I got, I got yeah. that typing mistake in there. Okay. Okay. Una, una vez. One, 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 one. I was, I was sleeping when, <laughs> when I did that. Uh, okay, because... Romeo, let's read, <laughs> let's read the, the, the example, man. Come from. The definition, actually. One, Come please. from, aha. Uh -huh. To have. Aha. Uh -huh. A place. Aha. Uh -huh. As one home. As one's home. Okay, oh, very good, Romeo. Come from, uh, easy, man. To place or mention the place where we were born. Place of origin. For example, if you go to another country and, and people tell you or ask you, hey, Domingo, where are you from? I mean, I come from El Salvador, right? But if I tell Domingo, hey, Domingo, where do you come from? <laughs> Look at Domingo. Con una gran símbolo de pregunta acá, Domingo. <laughs> no, Domingo, you might say, I come from... And you might say you're if you look if you're inside the country you might say like I come from San Salvador I I don't know Santa Ana whatever right that's what it says listen tengo de the place as one's home mm -hmm. okay. vengo de significa ah vengo de significa ah cuando mencionamos nuestro nuestro lugar donde 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 from exactly donde de donde somos por así decirlo Okay, nuestro origen, our origin. That's why I, uh, I was telling you people that this is the like the easiest one. This one. All right, just give me one second. I got problems with this charger. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me see. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. Vanessa, help me out reading, please. To leave somebody or something in a place. Something in a place. Okay, thank you. What is drop off? Okay, listen. Let's suppose. Mm -hmm, let's see. Who got, who got kids in here? Who got children? Mm, tiene niños acá, hijos? Me. Somebody, somebody, okay, good. 
Nadie quiere ser, nadie levanta la mano. ¿Cómo esconden a los niños? Ah, ok, good. Mira, Fátima tiene cuatro, dice. Pero dice que no. Ok, good. All right. Let's suppose you people, you that you have kids. Ok. Drop off is basically when you take your children to school. Or when you take your wife to the supermarket. That is drop off. Yeah. I, I, drop off I drop off on the mall. To my, oh. I drop off my wife to the mall. Of my wife in the mall. Uh -huh. Or oh, I drop off my children to the school. Drop off is ir a dejar or llevar. A okay. deposite. <laughs> Es más que todo ir a dejar. Ya, mira. ¿No es? Dejar. Y no solo aplica con personas, también aplico, aplica con cosas. Con como, cosas. Like papeles o like, eh, something <laughs> else. Right. Objects. Okay. Need to see the Drop pick up, teacher. ¿Hm? No, 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 recoger es pick up. Pick up uh... No, man, pick up es, ya, mira, es recoger. Eh, recoger algo del suelo. O también recoger a una persona en un lugar. Ah. You drop off a person. Este right? es este, ir a dejar. Este es ir a dejar. Pick up es ir a traer. Este esa, frase, esa frase la ocupo bastante para cuando para los pick up. Hoy digo. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Solo que ahí está aplicado a carros, ¿verdad? Right? Como un, un carro con, con cama, por así decirlo. Right? Pero acá básicamente estamos aplicándolo a como que pick up somebody, a ir a recoger a alguien o recoger algo del suelo. Right? That's pick up. Mm. Yeah. Get along with. All right. Rosa, don't fall asleep, Rosa. No se duerma, lea. <laughs> To have a good relationship with someone. Okay. Good. La siempre happy Rosa. Look at that smile. <laughs> okay, now listen, listen, listen. To have a good relationship with someone. What does it mean? Tener una relación con, pero no relación de amor, sino relación de, o sea, de, 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 de llevarse bien, okay? But That's good rela means. relationship. For example, una buena exactly, right? Eh, ya sea en el trabajo, con los vecinos, or something else, right? That's, that's get along with. For example, I can say, I get along with my students. Ah, me llevo bien con mis estudiantes, right? Okay, that is it. That's it. Hey, hey by the way, people, ¿por qué todos tienen la cámara apagada ahora? Let me see. Who's that? Ah, ahí está Romeo, cool. Jennifer, ¿te durmió Jennifer? No, teacher. Ajá, siempre activa, right? No, pues dije que como no la veo con la cámara ¿Sí? encendida. Y sí, mire, Jasmine hasta ahora la encendió. Pero sí, ya la voy a encender, si no me duermo. Ok, ok, Jennifer. Jasmine, what, what are you doing, Jasmine? Estoy cargando el teléfono. Ah, ah, ok. Ah, ok, ok, Jasmine. Está acostado porque te estoy copiando. Ah, ok, ok, Jasmine. Jorge cenando estaba. Bien. <laughs> Now, take, taking the medicine, Jorge? What are you doing? No, no, I taking the snap. Ah, ok. Good, snap. good. good. No, nah, I mean, look, look at Jennifer. Como cuando tienes clase a las 8 y las 10, dice, y después un party. <laughs> Ah, okay. 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 All right, all right, good, good, good. Okay, get along with, what is it? Remember, to have a good relationship with something or somebody. Llevarse bien con, that's the meaning of get along with. Llevarse bien con, okay? What is the opposite? The opposite, para mencionar lo negativo. Easy. Don't get along. With? 
how many that that can quit don't get along with okay for example i don't get along with uh amilka <laughs> ah, significa hey, no me llevo bien con amilka hey. le voy a dejar el That's modo <laughs> yeah okay esto es eso es like no llevarse bien con okay y este es más profundo look yeah, okay ustedes comprenden este verbo i guess stand what is it stand Stand. Levantarse. No. Ponerse de pie. No. no. Levantar, levantar, por así decirlo. Stand. Like the, the stand up. Permanecer, dice Marlon. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Ajá. You got several, several meanings, right? Several meanings, right? This is stand. Ajá. Es más que todo como levantar, ¿ok? Pero. Esta zona acá can't stand. Can't stand. Sería más que todo, si la traducimos, es como no levantar, right? O no permanecer. Pero can't stand, can't stand, es más que todo cuando decimos, por ejemplo, hey, look, I can't stand uh, who? Let's see. Romeo. I can't stand Romeo. I cannot even see Romeo. Okay, es no como cuando, no, 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 can't stand is like, no soporto, es como, en otras palabras, me cae mal, así, así, a los salvadoreños, right, I can't stand you, ah, como, no te soporto, you see, entonces, eso es como cuando alguien, gordo. es como cuando alguien en realidad, verdad, y como que, como que, siempre nos hace la vida medio, 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 you know, can't difficult, stand. And you say, no, I can't stand you. Like, no te soporto. I can't stand. Right? You see? Entonces, tiene otro tipo de connotación. If you take a look in there, stand is de levantar o permanecer. And can't stand is like, ah, completely different, right? Mm -hmm. No puedo levantar. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let's, let's continue. Let's continue, please. Okay, we got one more. Workout. To do exercise. Check that out. Look, work out. Trabajar fuera, right? Literal, eso es lo que significa. Trabajar fuera. Work out. But workout is mostly when you go to the gym. To do exercise. Mm. If you say, I work out every day. Ah, hago ejercicio todos los días. You see? Es otra manera de decir... Sí, ok, la frase de hacer ejercicio. Workout. Creo que ya varios de ustedes ya, ya conocían esta, esta frase, supongo. Right? También, Carlos, que iba. Ya, yeah, man, to work out. <risa> cool. Con la barra de 20 kilos, uh, 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 temblando. Uh. Yo comencé con eso, man, when I, when I was going to the gym. Me dio hasta calentura. Me verán volver, me verán volver. <risa> Ni sentarse así, podía. Así dijo la selecta. <risa> hace, ¿qué? <risa> 30 años. Ay, le tocó el... Ay, no, mejor continuemos. <risa> Let's continue. Let's continue. <risa> me, va a salir, me va a salir diciendo a Milcar, I can't stand you, teacher. <risa> Yes. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, let's work in the manual. We got a lot of things to work in the manual. Let me see. Remember the page? Let's go to the page. Give me, uh, give me a second. I'm going to put the manual. Let's go to the page 35. 35. Yes, 35. Yeah, I mean, it's one, this one over here. It says, listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay. What are we going to do with this conversation, people? As always, let's practice a little bit this, and then we're going to continue with the development of the vocabulary, right? Right after we finish the conversation, 
you can ask uh, if you have any questions with the vocabulary and then let's go to practice with them for a couple of minutes this conversation and then we are going to continue with a pile of uh, exercises that we got right after here okay let's start oh, it says this is a conversation between dave and tom he says dave tom i need your help tom i need your help can you pass me that spanner, please. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Sure, here you go. It says, Tom, Dave, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kate clean up the room before he left? Did Kate clean up the room before he left? He says, Tom, yes, he did. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. This is Dave. Great. Okay. Great. Let me see. By the way, by the way, did you call up the electrician? Did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. And now we have a problem. Is a thumb. Yeah, I think that, listen, I think that if you don't oil it, if you don't oil it regularly, regularly, it will size up. I mean, size up. It will seize up eventually. Eventually. That's correct, he says. That's correct. There you go, people. From here, do we have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? It's funner. Funner. Funner yeah. means it's, it's Javis. Javis, tools. Yes. Tools please. in general and spanner is uh, singular for something. Javi. Javi. Uh, for Especially the, the big ones. Javi, K. Or no, Javi no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. A key, a key es básicamente con lo que usted abre una puerta. Okay? Ese yes, tipo yes. de llave. All right? A spanner es una llave con la que usted soca tuercas o todo lo demás. Industria. Yeah. Una herramienta ya. Exactly, exactly. As Marco said, that's a tool. Mm. Yeah. Any other words? A screw. A screw. Screw. Tornillo. What is a screw? A screw. Tornillo. Ah, sí se escribe. Okay. Sí, screw. Here you go. Quiere decir aquí tiene, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Ah, pero si ve, literalmente es como, here you go, es como, ah, aquí vas. Mm -hmm. Esa es una expresión, right? That's an expression. Here you go. Aquí tienes. Right. Good. Any other word? The engine. Engine. Ese es el... Motor. Motor. La vida de algo. Engine. Mm -hmm. Engine. Check engine. No has escuchado eso en, en los talleres. Okay. <laughs> yes, man. No, una, ahora una compañera de trabajo me dice, hey, look, yo tengo, eh, me acaba de encender esta lucita y no sé qué es. Y decía, check engine. <laughs> ok. Pero a veces no es tan grave, teacher. Solo es a veces un es Simplemente es de, yeah, man, like, like, like just, just, just to put an scanner and you will find the... Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. No, but, that, but to put in a scanner, that's 
so expensive nowadays. Okay, good. Okay. If you don't have any other question related to vocabulary, I want we to practice at least for five minutes this conversation, people, okay? And I want to see who's available. Uh, Marlon, you're not available, right? Nah, he's a listener. Let me see who else is not available. Carlos Valberto, you, are you there? Okay, Stephanie is there. Okay, William Edward. Okay, everybody's there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What are we gonna do? Let's practice this for about five minutes. Because I need you to gain fluency. I need that. Okay, good. <coughs> so the president. Marlon. All right, Marlon. Oh, okay. Aha, yeah, me he got problems with the internet. That's why. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem, Marlon. Just give me one second. I'm gonna create the breakout rooms. How many people are we? Twenty. Ah, uh, but, but Marlon has problems. So we're gonna have 19. Hmm. What is a screw, teacher? Tornillo. A tornillo. Y hay, hay, y también hay otra expresión, se usa para otra expresión que no le voy a decir. Es porque el teacher tenemos que saberla. Because no, man. No. I lost. And you bad. I lost to screw. <laughs> no, no, ese tipo de palabras no se pueden decir acá. Ok. Good. Let me see. Right. Right. Two and two and two. Ok. <laughs> no. Ok. Let's go to work for about five minutes. Let's practice this conversation. Only five minutes. Ok. What does it mean? Son las 9.44. 5, 6. Ok. 9.49. Let's go back to here. Got to practice, people. Let's go to practice. Maritza, are you there? Maritza. Up the bone before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I I asked him to switch off the power. Uh, great. By the way, did you? Ahorita te voy a mandar la la el tengo ya. Ahí ya está. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, man. Hi. Uh, you practicing? Yeah. This mom. Beginner. Walbert. Okay. Song, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. The room before he left. Me, quién me tocó, quién me, quién, quién tomó ese screenshot. Let me see. Me, I don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mira esa cara como que estoy comiendo y ya no quiero. <laughs> Ay, me perdí. Eh, bye, yes, yes, I did. Oh, okay, thanks. Yes, he did. I know the deal because I asked him to switch off the power. 
great. By the way, did you call did you call up the electrician? The electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Very good. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? In the regularly, it will seize, seize up eventually. Seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten. I sir. No, CSAP. 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 Okay. CSAP depends eventually. Okay, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me this spanner, please? I need to tighten up these screws. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kate clean up the room before? The engineer doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. Sisap. Yes, Sisap. Okay. Sisap eventually. That's correct. Okay. Ahora comienzo yo. Mm -hmm. So I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screen. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Screw. Ah, uh, screw. No, eh, donde dice, I need to treat. Ah, tighten up. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten up. Ah, oh, ok. Tighten up. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí. Y spanner, teacher. Spanner, that's the same. Spanner. Ah, ok. Spanner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, one, one question, Carla. ¿Verdad que con usted no he tenido los los diez minutos de feedback? Sí, teacher. El jueves. Ah, yeah, I mean, it was on Thursday, right? Okay. Good. Yeah. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay. Entonces, voy, voy a comenzar. Take up this screw. Sure. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Look the kid clear of the room before. Did kid clean up the room? The room before he left. The room from the Is it I thanks? Una pregunta, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. thanks a lot. Look the kid clean up, clean up. The room before he left. It's real. Thanks a lot. Look, did kids clean up the room before he left? Room Bam. Before okay. he left. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> <Are> you practicing? <laughs> Eh, sí, pero sí, pero no, no mucho porque el compañero está en peor. Escúchalo, teacher, escúchalo, ¿cómo está? ¿Qué es up with you, William? Are you sick? <risa> you better sick. Sí, practicamos, pero igual. Ah, ok. Teacher, tengo, ¿cómo se pronuncia regularly? Regularly. Re regularly. 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 Re yeah, regularly. Ah, okay, good. 
regularly. Regularly. Okay. Good. But I think you I, I, I think you have practice enough, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, it's it's because of because of time. Let's go back mm -hmm. to the main section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were the last pair that, that, that I was checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's close all the rooms. Uh see you there. Ow, al rato me voy a desnucar, man. Teacher. I was doing movement. Y, y sentí que dos vértebras de, la, de, 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 de por acá me tronaron. Así que por un rato me quedé. Me la teacher. Al rato van a, van a. Solo me voy a desplomar. Así que si dicen, teacher, teacher. ¿no? A mí el carro. Es la costalada. ¿What? Esta es la costalada, teacher. La costalada. What is that, man? La costalada de años que ella lleva, pues. Man, how old do you think I, I am, Amilcar? Uh, teacher, I don't understand the, the, um, the statement. Hey, which is statement? Clean up the room before the left, but clean up. Clean up, man. Limpiar el cuarto antes de irse. Clean up. Clean up antes de irse. Okay, clean up. Yes, man. Yes. That's what it is. Okay. Ahora uh, nos dio menos tiempo, teacher. Huh? Ahora no dio menos tiempo. <laughs> um, but, but I told you five minutes. Uh, de, de hecho, inclusive me pasé cinco minutos. Man. Jennifer? <laughs> is Jennifer? Really? Yeah, I mean, she's Jennifer. Yeah. Wake up. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't die. <laughs> no, you know what happened? Lo que pasa es que como ahora ella ya casi, casi, casi está de vacaciones. De vacation. Happy. <laughs> two, three two, right. two or three months. The vacation. Yeah. Ah. Two. Two, two, months. two months. Two months. The vacation. Yes. Oh. No, it's like one, like like one, one month and two weeks. <laughs> December and just December. You you start like, like the second week of November. I mean January. Really? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. I think. And, and, and I'm saying that Jennifer, because you still you are still working until November the thirtieth, right? Sí, pero no es como que después del 15 de noviembre se mate trabajando, pues. Ah, sí, no ah, sé nada. Eh, <laughs> no, only that, only present the work. Con and... razón, Hello. mire. Ahí va mire, peinando mire, la gata. Ah, ya, yeah, <laughs> peinando <laughs> la gata. Allá por, allá por finales de octubre. No, me está teacher, peinando la gata. Teacher, can I turn on the padre. camera? Like I am <laughs> late. Querido padre. Ya tenemos derecho de peinar la gata esta fecha de, de, después de peinar la gata. What is that? Desde de, 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 esos idioms. <risa> What a weird idiom, peinar la de, gata. Desde de, de mayo viene peleando la gata. Así, <risa> que, so. That was funny, man. That was funny. Yeah, man, you got the right. You got the right. Ya midiéndose los estrenos para diciembre. <risa> yeah. Good man, have fun and enjoy them. Okay, people. Uh, in the meantime, let's continue to us. Let's discuss this pair of questions in here. Okay. Let's see. I don't understand the question. No, nah, man. Let's do let's <laughs> do something. Let's do this better before we go. Okay, help me out, people. Just help me out with this. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna put. Uh, let me see. Um, okay. Switch. Switch off. This off. Switch off. Switch off. Switch up. Like off. this? Switch off. No. No. Switch off. off. Switch off. Switch off. off. What is switch off? Off. 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 What is switch off? Yes. Yes. What is Apagar. it? Apagar. Apagar. Yes. Apagar. So it means clean up. up. What is clean up? Clean up. Limpiar. 
Very good. <laughs> this. Limpies el. Ah, oh, ok. No, 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 no. no. Limpies el. Limpies el. Sees up. Oh, sees up. Sees up. Sees up. What is up? up. 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 Okay, guys, good work. See you tomorrow. All right, listen, listen, listen. In here. What you're gonna do is just to put these phrasal verbs in here in context. Okay. Number one, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. All right. Now, number two, Amilcar, help me out, please. Okay. The workshop is very dirty. Um, let's uh -huh. let dirty, um, the, let click up. Okay, play, clean up. Play. Very good. Clean up. Give me a second. What did I do? My my notes. Really? Work three. Clean up. Okay, very good. Uh Fatima, number three. Remember to uh, turn off. Turn off. The power before you remove the machine. Okay, okay, turn off or, or switch off. Or switch off. Turn off. Okay. Very good. Let me see who else can help me. Domingo, help me out with number four. Teacher, no sé si a alguien más le pasa, pero en la plataforma la evaluación del día de ahora, eh, la número dos, ninguna, con ninguna me salió bien la respuesta y solo es de elegir, ¿no? Es cierto. Yeah. Is the, this day listen, you listen, listen. sleeping? Queda, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah. listen. ¿Se acuerdan que el viernes les mencioné que en la homework 14 hay una? Que yes, sir. No van a yes, yes, sir. Una. Yes, sir. Cuando estaba durmiendo. Ah, ya ah, está. Ah, ah, yeah. Entonces no hay que hacerlo, teacher. Día de copas. Ahora. I see a Fatima too, maybe. <laughs> No, no, no. Yo no, no estuve el viernes, teacher. No Ay, ah, ok. Ah, ok. okay. Ah, no, okay. Eso sí no hay que hacerla. No, ese, ese número, no sé si es la número 3, creo, algo así. Sí, esa así dos. es en la Milka, pero la demás, lo demás de la tarea sí, Milka. Ok. <risa> no, no, no toda la tarea, Milka. <risa> ok. Es la 14. Ok, good. Domingo, number 4. Eh, oh, sí, se off. Switch off. They say uh, they hope the computer works once. It's still set off and then. Size up? Size up. Size up. Size up. Size up. No, but in this, case, in this case, you're talking about computer, man. Ah, uh, so it's uh, turn off. Tour off. Tour ah, off. OK, turn off. Oh, to, to time, turn off? Yeah. En no, este caso, no. vamos a poner acá. No, no, remember is, is, is switch off. Entonces, switch con lo que vamos a hacer. Es switch. Ese sí es switch off. Porque okay, las máquinas casi siempre. Ok. Let's put it away. Now, number five, Jennifer. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will size up yes okay very good yeah in that case <laughs> size up right okay they will size up or seize up in that case 
Good. Ever, help me out finishing this one, okay? Teacher, your shield, <laughs> your shield, a cry. <laughs> I'm a child. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm hungry. His mom is, is, is feeding him. No, la ruña, teacher. No, la ruña. Yeah, the thing is that he, he, like, like his mother is changing, you know, like the diaper and all those things. And he's very angry, man. But he doesn't like to change the diaper and all those things. You change diaper? Hey. I have learned, man. I have learned. Otra semana, el teacher se lo va a hacer ojera ya. Uf, atrás de él ya no vamos a ver los corporativos, los pañales así colgando. Exacto, exacto, exacto. Ok, what about number six? All right, we're going to finish with number six. Let me see, Carla. Help me out, Carla. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up a tank. Okay, technician. 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 Okay, call. Up. Call up. Call up. Call up. Okay, a technician. Very good. That's the one, all right? We need to call up a technician. Very good. All right, people. So we have already finished this, this, this one. Okay. Good, people. As I told you, uh, with the homework 14, there is one slightly mistake in one of them. I don't remember if it is number two or number three number in that two. homework. Okay. And that two. is not going to be correct. Okay. Just leave it like that and continue with the rest, okay? And I'm gonna talk to these people and you, and you might have like the 100%. Uh, for tomorrow, we will finish uh, basically the week. Para mañana, básicamente, vamos a finalizar la semana. Así que ya para mañana, Only practice. Sí. Mañana, ah, de hecho, sí, mañana vamos a tener práctica bastante, pero con el uso de los idioms. Vamos a ver la segunda Ay, parte señora. de los idioms mañana. Okay. okay, so I'm going to bring up some idioms and we're going to make a practice. But besides the practice, I do really want people you to finish the homework in the platform, please. Okay, okay. Just, just I finished just that one, right? Until hunger uh, 15 tomorrow, okay? Okay. Very good. Uh, who was the last one? Uh, who was with me with the 10 minutes feedback last Friday? I got it. It was Rosa, right? Okay, it was Rosa. Yeah. Maritza, I think it was your turn. What but, happened? But what that were... wrong, Matias? <laughs> About me? Well, well, Mauricio, let's see, Marlon. <laughs> Maritza, yeah, me. Maritza, I haven't had the 10 minutes feedback with you, right? <laughs> okay. ¿Ya tuvimos los 10 minutos de feedback, Marisa? No, teacher. Ah, yes, porque le tocaba el domingo, el, el domingo, el viernes, el viernes, pero el viernes, el domingo, pero el viernes, Marisa estaba ah, like, like, como con, con 10 tequilas. <risa> no, qué galando, Marisa. Enferma, con 5. Very sick. Peor decía que el virus. No, I mean, it, I mean that's horrible. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna pass the attendance list, and today, Marisa, we're gonna stay, okay? Okay. Good. Alfred Alexander is not here. Amil Carcañegues. I'm here. Good, man. Carlos Gualberto. Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's see, Domingo Alexander. Present. Very good. Ever de Jesus. Present. Very nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Okay. Hilmar Cruz. Okay. He, he, he won't. He didn't. 
Go back. Okay, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Very nice. Jorge Elvir. Present. Very good. Jose Matias. Here. Excellent. Carla Benazir. Present. Very nice. Marco David. Present. Okay, Maret Salcera. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Marlon Alberto. Present in the chat. I am a present in the chat, okay. Uh, Mauricio Alexander. Present, teacher. Very good. Romeo Alexis. Present, teacher. Good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, very good. Vanessa Odette. Present. Very good. William Eduardo. Present. Uh, Jasmine Melanie. Present. Okay, good. Let's see. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Very good. Natalie Vanessa. Ah, Natalie, no, no. Ah, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, okay, very good. And the last one, William Alberto, which is not here. All right, people, it was a pleasure to have you here in this video conference. Let's see you tomorrow in the last one of the week number three, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Have a wonderful bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Have a Good night, guys. Good Good night. See you. Night, night. Hey. You. What's up, man? It's weekend three days. I lost completely. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. I, I, I Vamos kidding, a resolver esas preguntas mañana, okay? I need nah. you to clear up all those ideas and doubts. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, See you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. We're missing here. Give me one second. Perfect. Okay, it's then on I, Maritza. Uh, we're going to have 10 minutes, as you know, just to provide feedback. Okay, if you don't understand something from this class that, that we had, or if you haven't understood something from the previous classes, this is the moment for you, you know, to ask and clarify any question. Ay, teacher, este, bueno, como no estuve la clase del viernes uh -huh. y ahora me he sentido en la luna, pero sí, este fin de semana ha sido difícil. Tengo que, que, que ver la clase del viernes para entender la de ahora y eso tengo que hacerlo mañana para... En realidad, en realidad la clase del viernes eh, eh, fue completamente diferente a la clase de ahora. Los temas son diferentes. Eh, para la clase de mañana, sí, sí, porque mañana es la segunda parte de la clase del viernes. Ya, este, sí me siento, siento que ya vamos, vamos entrando más, más en materia, ¿verdad? Para, yeah, yeah, para yeah. la conversación en este, en este uh -huh, módulo. Uh -huh. Y sí me gustaría que me recomendara algo porque, este... Yo le entiendo muy, no muy bien, pero sí entiendo la mayor parte de la clase. El problema es la conversación y me pasó algo que no sé, pero en el momento que me toca hablarlo, me pongo quizás nerviosa y se me olvida qué es lo que tengo que hacer. Eh, recibí una llamada y mi jefe no la tomó y era en inglés. Uh. Entonces, este, eh, suerte que era un familiar. Uh -huh. y, y él me preguntó, ¿verdad? Él bien claro me preguntó con quién quería hablar y, y yo pasé la llamada, pero me dice mi jefe, mire, dígale que después le voy a llamar. Ah. Él en el momento no, no pensó, no reparó que yo no podía hablar inglés, pero que iba a ser, tenía que darle el recado. Entonces, mire, le contesto, va y le digo, le digo yo, Mr. Larson, eh, he say to call to call you y me quedo va to call you eh, after le digo yo ah, ah. ok he, he, he called me later en el momento 
de la presión, Ajá. ¿verdad? Eso se me vino a la mente. Ajá, sí. Entonces, es que lo primero, este... lo primero que usted tenía que haberle dicho, mire, vaya, ajá. Mister, lo que sea, he say that he will call you later. Y este es vocabulario que usted maneja. Y sí, pero como los nervios sí, le atacaron, en... <risa> ahí está. Sí, en el momento. Se bloqueó. Más que un familiar de ellos, ¿verdad? Que vive ah, en Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Pero, pero, pero no, yo necesito como escuchar o, o algo, como conversaciones para estar como educando el oído, pero no sé qué me puede recomendar. Ah, uh, in this case, there are, there are a lot of things that you can do. Uh, one of them is just, is just to practice. Uh, Do you generally watch TV? Do you watch series or things like that? Sí, I watch TV. All right, what you, what you can do is like, put those series, if you watch series on Netflix and all those things, why don't you put them in English? That helps a lot. Eso ayuda bastante. Ver más que todo televisión en inglés, by listening to music in English, right? Quizás eso de la música, porque Netflix... Casi siempre el fin de semana que cuando puedo uh -huh. ver uh -huh. algo. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, este es otro channel. Look, eh, eso es like on YouTube. Eso es, es eh, ese, en, ese, en ese canal así. Eh, se ayuda más que todo a la pronunciación y al desarrollo de las palabras. Más que todo cómo se usa una palabra. Hay unos versos ahí de cómo usar cada una de las palabras. Por ejemplo, cuando usar tell, cuando usar say. Ok. Eh, me gusta en realidad ese canal porque digamos que la pronunciación es súper clara y, y el chamaco explica bastante bien. Eso le puede ayudar también, aparte de la, de la, de, de la práctica y de, de, de cómo escuchar, por ejemplo, música en inglés en all those things. Mm -hmm. That's what you can do, Marisa. If you have the chance, of course, y si tiene chance de, 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 de poder practicar con alguien que de verdad también sepa, ok. Eso estaría más que perfecto. Pues sí, Michelle, pero es que alguien que pueda, este, vaya, usted porque nos está enseñando, como que se adapta a lo que estamos aprendiendo, pero una persona que ha vivido allá, ya, ya ellos tienen sus modismos y todo eso. Y, yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true. Vea, como que es más, cuesta un poquito, pero Ajá. voy a intentar en ese canal a ver, porque a veces yo busco, he estado viendo las clases de Francisco Ochoa, pero igual él habla bastante español. Es, mm. es más que todo gramática, pero así de, mm. de, de, de hablarlo. Pues. Ajá, y es mostly speaking, speaking. Yeah, man, it's true. Uh, when you listen to music, uh, where do you listen? Do you I have... Do you have a, a Spotify, for example? What? Do you have a Spotify? That's, no. that's a platform. No, no, yo pongo la, la TV ah, y ahí estoy, ah, estoy okay. dejando las canciones uh -huh, con, uh -huh. con la letra, por ejemplo. Yeah, I mean. De, a woman. Um, yesterday, canciones uh -huh. así. Que, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, those, those type of music. Uh -huh. That type of music is the one that you can listen to uh, for practicing. For example, music from Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, Elton John. E ese tipo de pronunciaciones son bastante, bastante útiles. Sí, y salen, bastantes y salen bastantes modismos ahí de, de, ya, ajá. De, en las canciones y, y la Exacto. unión de varias letras. Uh -huh. That's correct. Pero, puchica, teacher, bien difícil porque como uno solo escucha el español, ¿verdad? Entonces ajá, es más difícil. Y, Esa es una y... barrera, créame, súper grande, pero no significa que sea imposible. Cuesta un poquito porque sí. Pero a veces uno tiene que darse la misma, la, o sea, la, la motivación y uno mismo tiene que practicar, aunque no, no esté alguien a la par, 
pero lo que uno sabe es que uno se está aprendiendo una palabra nueva, practicarla, poner la palabra en contexto, usar la palabra. And that's the one. Por ejemplo, si ahora yo les traje un phrasal verb, eh, por ejemplo, call off. Ah, usted puede decir, I call off my boss tomorrow. Ah, le cancelaré a mi jefe mañana. I call off the meeting tomorrow. Ah, cancelaré la reunión mañana. I am going to call off my date. Ah, cancelaré mi cita. I am going to call off my what? My something else, right? Pero la idea es like, ponerlo en práctica. Y no solo ponerlo en práctica, sino usar esa palabra en una oración para ponerla en contexto. Y luego no solo quedarse con esa, con esa pequeña escritura, sino que leer en voz alta. Eso, créame, me ayuda bastante también a, a la retención más que todo. Y obviamente, pues, a la articulación de, de las palabras ya en otro idioma. Porque no sé si no sabe usted que, que, que cuando estamos hablando en inglés y cuando vamos comenzando así, tendemos a trabarnos bastante con, el, con la pronunciación de las palabras, pero es por la falta de práctica. Ajá, y ahora me había propuesto de que todas las actividades iba a ir copiando las oraciones de lo que hacía en inglés. Uh -huh. Pero mire si me, si me quedó tiempo. <risa> Más que este problema que tengo después del COVID, era que hoy que apagaba la, la cámara, yeah. estaba caminando porque es una fatiga desde las 10 de la mañana estoy así. Pues... Ha sido grande y, la secuela. Y no es porque ayer estuve así y, y traté de descansar, pero no, no es sueño en sí, sí que es una pesadez que, que ni descansa uno, pero, pero molesta. Ajá, ajá. Molesta, sí, pero ya, ya vamos sí. a ver cómo solucionamos eso porque afecta. Sí, ojalá primero Dios que sí se logre solucionar eso. Así que ahí vamos, ya ahí vamos. Ya toqué de ese canalito, ya lo voy a, a chequear. Claro, claro. Ahí está, y así es como poco a poco vamos, vamos ahí. Y, you know, like, 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 eh, improving, mejorando. Y pues obviamente, ¿verdad? Para eso también estamos nosotros que, 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 que servimos de apoyo. Ahí cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a vocabulario o cómo usar esa palabra en un contexto, no, simplemente me puede escribir, mire, Ticho, ¿cómo se usa esta palabra? O, mire, ¿esta oración está correcta? O, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Yo con gusto le puedo, le puedo okay. a, a ayudar ahí, ¿ok? Echar la mano, porque la idea Gracias, es que señor. podamos mejorar. Y para eso estamos Gracias, nosotros, señor. pues, obviamente, para ya siento, que me, ya siento que me asigna otra función ahí con eso de, de que está ah, recibiendo inglés, sí. vuela, ¿no? Yo sí. <risa> No, sí, y, y, no, y eso puede ayudar bastante también. Sí, no, y aparte que eso ya sería, o sea, una gran ayuda también porque, o sea, mm. ya, ya estaría practicando y todo, poniéndole en contexto. Pero bueno, ahí vamos haciendo el ánimo. Ahí vamos poco a poco, sí. Ahí vamos. Bien. No sé si teníamos alguna otra duda, Marisa. No, teacher, ahí... No, ahí solamente yo tengo que revisar esa, la, las clases y ver las la dudas. Ah, vaya. Creo que ya revisándolas uno va entendiendo, ¿verdad? Sí, poco a poco, así, sí, sí. Ahí va más o menos comprendiendo cómo es la situación. Uh -huh. Bien. Vaya, entonces, perfecto. Entonces, ya sabes, mañana vamos a ver la segunda parte de los phrases, de los idioms. Y pues ahí, cualquier duda en la clase, usted sabe que. Simplemente enciende el micrófono y pregunte, ¿ok? Y bueno, preguntar vale. y no quedarse con dudas. Sí, está bien. Okay. Bueno, perfecto. Entonces, Marisa. Vale, pues sí. Vale. Gracias. Buenas noches. Okay, ya sabe. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye.